Hello, welcome back to the Virgo channel. My name is Laura. I'm going to do a general message for Virgo. Know that energy is fluid. Rules could be reversed. Just interpret the message as it best resonates with you. If you're new to my channel, know that anything of any importance or relevance to the channel or to me, you can find in the description box. That would be, you know, all important links, my other YouTube channel, directions on how to enter into winning a free reading with me, whatever prizes and giveaways I'm giving at this current time. All right. Now, if you're new to the channel, also know that I like to go deep. I don't just look at what goes on the surface. We like to look at the shadows and see how they play out as karmic themes within your experience. Now, if you resonate with this message, like and subscribe. And if you want to enter into winning a free reading with me, you just have to write the word in the comment bar along with liking and subscribing to the channel. The word of the video it's always like how I like to open up my readings and we'll see what is going on. Okay, the word is clear karma programs of intolerance. Clear karmic programs of intolerance. So Virgo, I feel as if you're in a time where you're manifesting, like this, this is crucial time for you. Meaning like you have all your ducks in a row, you've done a lot of work on yourself you've done a lot of work within your career and so anything that's not in alignment with your true self you're getting you're like kind of getting rid of like and that means people it means situations like places that you would go to maybe anything that like isn't honoring you anything that's just like i said not working for you not in alignment with where are you going, what you're doing, what you're trying to ac accomplish. I think if it's not growing you, like mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and it's not doing anything for you to physically, then it's like, almost like you just don't want it. So that's the underlining energy. And I feel like everybody knows it. I feel like everybody knows it. And you know why, Virgo? And I don't know why I'm feeling this. I feel like you put up with a lot of shit from a lot of pe different people and they know that they haven't treated you right and they see a change. They see a change and the old you is gone and they never thought that it was going to happen. They never thought. So So there's this en energy there and I'm feeling like it's not just with the person that you're connected to. I feel like it's friends, family, like anybody all right, so we're going to look and see if you're in uh, connection with the person. I definitely feel like you're in separation, and this is making this person really nervous. So we're just going to look and see what are the, um, I always like to start to see, like, what this person's um, hidden truths are. What do they really, truly believe? Um, because I, I always like to back up with what I channeled, and then we'll go into the reading. Even more so. I left you before you left me. So this is what I'm saying. Like, I feel like you're in separation with the person. But I feel like they left you before you left them because they, A, couldn't give you what they knew you wanted. And they didn't want to ruin their opportunity. And they also didn't want you to get that close to them because I feel like they just had people in their life that they really shouldn't have, meaning an ex-karmic, um, that they said that they were fully finished with, which they weren't. They were on their way to finishing, but this person always, always would say things before they actually transpired. So they would say, oh, yeah, I'm moving, or I moved, but they would be in the process of moving, or they'd say, I left, my ex, and they were in the process of starting to leave that ex. So they were, oh, they never came from a true sense of self. So there was a sense of them not wanting you to really see who they were. I'm also feeling like at the time they were in party mode. They drank a lot. They smoked a lot. They, they were in very, very selfish mode and they didn't really want you to see that though they could feel that there was a connection. And I feel like this person knows that you ain't having it. 
I think feel like in the beginning they thought maybe I remember every detail of that day. And so I feel like they keep thinking about the last time you guys is like talk to each other or spend time with each other, really spend time with each other. And they're, um, and they're remembering certain things that you said. They're remembering the way that they feel. So they miss the way that they feel, but they are getting triggered by what you said, because now they're remembering what you said and about something about being in your life. And they've deliberately not been in your life because they didn't want you to see what was going on in their life. I'm going to pull just one more. Just being near you is intoxicating right? because I feel like you come from a higher vibration. And though they knew that you were a good catch at the time, they were not ready to give you any type of relationship. And so we're going to look at the triggers to see what their triggers were with you, because that would let us know what your shadows are. Trust. I feel very uneasy in this connection because I can no longer trust you. So that's where you are with this person, because, again, they they were never 100 percent truthful. Like I said, they would leave things out of conversation they would uh, freeze things a certain way to make you a lot of gaslighting. I feel like a lot of manipulation in order to get what they wanted. And that's because I feel like this person doesn't have good confidence. But in that um, X factor, again, the karmic, like you, you knew also that there was a karmic so that you don't trust them because you feel as if they wanted to like they, that they chose the karmic over you that they said that that was over. They said that, and what 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 really transpired is they were on their way out, but they either got finagled back in, or they, I feel like they got finagled back in, and then they also wanted to stay. They were felt guilted and wanted to stay. And I feel like it's because the karmic knows every single button to push. So, What's happened is even though that they don't really have the feelings for the karmic, they gave the respect to the karmic. And that's what the karmic knew. Because the karmic knew, knew that somebody was there. I'm actually also feeling that your person is wanting to clear their karmic programs of intolerance of things that just are out of alignment with them. And I don't feel like they ever really knew the difference in a person, they always met people like the karmic, someone that was very manipulative. I feel like someone that acts really sweet on the outside and really nice and and um, really kind, but someone that also is very manipulative. So that's where you are. You're like, I don't trust you because you held back from me. Again, and you're sneaky because you leave shit out. So you're very triggered by this person and they know it. They know it 110%. And they're, I feel like they're afraid to contact you. I wanna look at some spiritual cards to see what they're going to do or to see if they realize what type of connection this is or to give us a clue of what type of connection. Because sometimes this could be a karmic mate, someone that just comes in to your life to teach and you actually would also teach them karmic mates teach each other and what this person thought was that um they thought that they were going to pull back and you know uh that they were going to be able to come back and just pick it up where they left off and what they can feel is that's not going to be an option for them mirrors our inner guidance is clear but our ego is resisting it and so that's your person and I feel also you, you're like, I, I have feelings for you, but I will never trust you again. Like this person pushed you right into survival mode where I feel like for them, it's like, they know what they did wrong and they, you know, are not really coming and saying anything to you about it. And that's because there's a part of them that knows that, that, you know, they'd have to eat. The, the crow and they don't want to they don't want to have to be responsible they don't want to have to answer for the fact that they were not 
with you, that they were with a karmic. They know now from thinking about the relationship that it looks really messed up, like what they did. When they were doing it, they, again, justified it. And I feel like it's because that karmic isn't strong way. You are strong, almost like you're getting penalized because you're strong. And now your person really sees that you're strong and stronger than them. And they're really nervous. When our conversations are lighthearted and playful, it eases the tension that is sometimes there when we talk. Yeah, because this person does the wrong thing every time. It's what I feel like. It's like they, they didn't honor the connection to begin with. They held back, they played games. Then it's like, well, I played every single game in the book. I chose someone else over you. I almost feel like this person wanted you to fight for them. So it's like all their games, they're petty, petty games. The thing is, your person also knows because they had to treat you right, they're guilted, they're guilted. So anything that you would say to them would trigger them. Union is an energy, not a physical construct. Even when we aren't together, I feel our union. See, this person realizes that you were supposed to be someone important in their life. They realize that they, they messed up big time and that's what they know. That's what they know. Love like ours can change the world. So it's again, I feel like they felt like this was a twin flame relationship. And I think that they, again, felt the need that they had to be there for the karmic. And like I said, you got penalized for being strong. I think it actually triggered your person to, um, to feel how strong you were. And in a subconscious way, that's another reason why they gave to the karmic. And I feel like they know what they did and they know that you know what they did. So, but they instead felt like, well, our love can overcome everything. So I feel like they're a little delusional. It's so stupid when a person takes for granted, like a love that's so unconditional, like a twin flame relationship that you feel that, but that's what this person did. They met you, they knew who you were, but they wouldn't give it the time and it's because they were not ready to. They wanted to still run around, play games, still fuck around with the karmic. And here we are. I'm feeling controlled by people around me and I don't like it. It's pushing me to find my power. Yeah, because the karmic knows that, that they don't want to be with them, really. It's like that has been nothing but manipulation and guilt. And for a long time, your person allowed it. And so... Being that the karmic knows that there's somebody else, knows that there's somebody else. What's happening now is that your person is like getting annoyed and the karmic is like, there's somebody else. I know that there's somebody else. So they're getting more paranoid. The person that gets paranoid, they try and control and fear. And normally your person like backs down to that. So I feel like the karmic is right. Do a lot of different things to manipulate. And this is what, what pisses you off with your person because you feel like they should be strong enough. And if they really loved you enough that they would be able to. I wish I could say what I really feel. Someday I will, but right now I'm afraid to be myself. They're afraid to con contact you. They're afraid to like really show you everything because now they're embarrassed that they got themselves in this position. I feel like they held back, they held back, they held back, they expected you to chase them. I feel like that karmic always has a seat there. It's like a relationship that is like a love-hate relationship. And when I say love, it's not really a love, it's more like a, a possessive, Almost like at one time, it could have been a soulmate relationship, but due to a lot of betrayal, mainly from your person betraying the karmic, and but the karmic won't leave. The karmic knows, but says, I don't care, I'm going to stay here. And he had guilt and manipulates and does a lot of different things, but also 
gives in to everything that your person wants. So your person, again, is a little codependent on that person because they get everything taken care of. And so um, no one would want that. And your person knows that nobody would want that. They thought that this connection was going to be a lot easier to get out of. And so my issue is I almost feel like they put you on a shelf, that they put you in a box and they said, I'll come back for you. And that's why you're like, I'm not, I don't want this. So we look, we have to say, let's see what they are going to do, if they are going to do anything before we look at the inner child wounds. Because right now, what it sees is that they're afraid to contact you right now. One day, they may talk to you. It's almost like leaving it hanging because they don't really know how to get out of their situation. So... Yeah, let's just look at the inner child wounds then, because it's like this person is eventually, but I feel like they are not on your vibration. They're not strong enough to be with you, Virgo, because like how your reading started is you're in a place where you're making things happen. And so all eyes are on you, but a lot, a lot of people at one time, I don't think that they depended on you per se, but they liked having your energy around because you would help them. You would give them ideas. You would help them out. Like I said, whenever they needed help, um, you gave unconditional love. And there's a sense like if it wasn't in alignment with you, with if it's not in alignment with who you are today, you don't want it. Meaning if it's not going to respect you, if it's not going to give equal love, if it's not going to do any of that, and, and, and people are taking notice, and they're not liking it. So we have to say the best case scenario is, why did you attract a person like this into your life? What would the spirit want you to know? Because you're a mirror of who and what comes into your life. You attract the people into your life because the universe always brings you what you need to heal. So we want to take a look and see what is it? Uh, time and attention. This person, again, couldn't give you the time and attention. And so it brought up a lot of inner child wounds of not feeling loved, feeling abandoned, feeling not good enough feeling looked over again. That's exactly what this, that, that this is exactly what your person did. This person did to you because they stayed with the karmic. They, again, and so even though you are supposedly the one that they want to be with, you are the one that they have feelings for. The karmic was able to manipulate them. And so the, there's a part of you that's like love, I might have grown up that way and my parents did the best that they can do, but I don't have to like, like the difference is I was born into a family that, that, that was the dynamic for me. And it's not a blame game, but we have to understand how the, how the wound was created, how the shadow, where did the shadow come, come about? And the shadow came about because again, they didn't give you time and attention. And now this person didn't give you time and attention. You're the better choice. You were like perfect and you got like penalized for it because of this person's insecurity. Imagination. And it pushed you again to go deep with the inside of your mind. And we get ideas from that. So trauma, a lot of times, believe it or not, creates... Um, Creativity, we get more creative. That's why they say the child that survives, thrives. So um, I feel like this person not giving you the time and attention and then assuming that they can just come back and pick it up because there's this unconditional love, there's this bond, that this perfect connection that it's okay that they put you on a shelf. I felt, feel like that was traumatizing for you. It was traumatizing because you're like, okay, we had such this connection. You told me all these things and mainly that that was over. And, and you know, you just kind of left me in a box, put me on a shelf. And like love isn't supposed to do that. So like I said, 
and not staring at the pain, it pushed you into like creating. Because if we can imagine it, we can create it into ideas. And, and, and that helped you in your business. As again, and learned how to go with the flow of life. And so a lot of times when um, we feel as if we're not good enough because someone doesn't give us the time and attention, we want to resist it. We want to, which is what I feel like your person kind of wanted you to do, but that's not what happened. What happened is you went with the flow. Even though the flow was not an easy flow, you did that through, again, investing in yourself, in your imagination, in the creation process. Because I always consider the imagination the creative process. It's always like the seed. It comes from the idea. And so that's where you are now. So I feel like, again, it backfired. And so this person is actually seeing you for to be someone completely different now. And that's why they're like, oh, you're probably like, I'm afraid to contact you. I don't even know what I'm going to get. I don't know how I'm going to respond. And I know I didn't treat you right. So for all those reasons, um, I feel like they're going to wait. So we also can ask spirit, okay, so what is the energy that we can pull in to make ourselves feel better? Because a lot of times when we have that, that deep connection and there's so much chemistry and it should have worked out, but because of this person's stupidity of I'm not ready, I want to be selfish, I'm going to put you in a box because I know that you have feelings for me. We have a deep love so I can take advantage of it, but I'll be back later for you. Um, you know, I, that was very hurtful. So we have to say what kind of energy can we also integrate to make ourselves feel better? What should be the mindset that we have? Because you did the right thing here. You put the time and attention into yourself. Into the things that you dream about. Into the things that you're passionate about. Right? Our imagination is all part of that. And that's really the second chakra too, which is our unique individuality chakra, which allows us to go with the flow of life. And this is how you were able to go with the flow. Your person never expected that boy. Mana on that face. Look at this creation. Spirit saying these are, uh, you, there is passion in the fact of creation because you're creating something that you love. So it says, I have the power to direct my life. So by not focusing on this person, by focusing on where you go and what you're doing on the creation process. With a constructive attitude, I create what is best for my soul. I firmly believe I can transform and improve my inner and outer worlds by turning every thought in, into affirmative, affirmative action. I act in the image of God and bring light into my life. So God is just unconditional love. And so... The creation process is how we become unconditional love. That's how we step into our best self. That's how we transform. I feel like this person, we can see them as a karmic test. We could see them as someone that got inspired by you, someone that learned more from you. Um, and really, like I said, this person wanted you to focus on them. You didn't. You put it into yourself. And in that, that will fulfill you. That will sustain you, the creation process. All right, I'm going to leave that there, Virgo. You let me know whether you resonated with this. And if you did, don't forget to write clear karmic programs of intolerance in your comment bar. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.